You knew someone was gonna do it. Come on, you knew so <laughs> you knew someone was gonna do this shit. <laughs> it was obvious. It was obvious, okay? Literally, it was obvious. All right, so if you don't already know, EGX has been taking place from Thursday and ending tomorrow, which is Sunday. Tomorrow's Sunday, right? Well, the days be going by, I don't remember. But we've got shit to talk about with regards to Sunday Frontiers as we've got more information, more footage, and yeah, more debates with regards to the M word. So we're gonna get to all this right now. But let's subscribe to the channel already. Please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and hopefully, 10,000 subscribers before Sonic Frontiers comes out. So, let's get to it. Okay, 2D Green Hill Zone. I don't know if you saw this one before because there was the sunset one, but this is a daytime one. And this one is basically biting off classic Green Hill from Generations. So we're gonna play the clip here and take a look. It's not the full stage, there's a good amount of it though. All right, so we can see 2D Green Hill. It's supposed to take damage. You've got the large motor bugs. And yeah, it pretty much looks like the Generations one. Once you get through it, you'll see what I mean. There's level design similarities in there. Obviously, some original level design as well, because they bite some and then they keep some original. But it's basically taking inspiration from classic Green Hill and Gens. Then you go up there and you hit the spring. But yeah, it's another cyberspace level. Apparently, one of the reps said there was 50 plus levels. Um, I wasn't the one who asked the rep, someone else. Oh, I, I, I can't vouch for that. I just heard someone say that they were at the event and the rep said it was 50 plus levels. So there's essentially gonna be a lot of cyberspace if that was true. I don't have the tweet anymore to like confirm that one. So yeah, but yeah, it's a, it's a cyberspace level. Like again, like nothing special here, but we're gonna keep it moving. And then we've got an interesting one here, Green Hill Stage Theme. This is the original Green Hill, 1-1, one -one, okay? And this theme is... I'll play it. Some of the fans saying this theme is really good. Ugh, I, I call cap. I call bullshit, okay? <laughs> Listen. This is the kind of song that if I played this to a Sonic fan and they didn't know it was from Sonic, they didn't know it was from Frontiers, they would just be like, okay, whatever. But because it's from Frontiers, they're like, no, it fits, Green Hill. It feels right. It feels good because it's digital cyberspace, so it works. This song sounds like a reject song from the Impossible game, okay? And the Impossible game has some fire music, but like, if you couldn't make it to that, then like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, this is not what you expect to hear when you enter Green Hill, okay? Even the, okay, the vocal themes that the Avatar has, you, you could argue they don't fit either. But my point is just to say that this song ain't all that. No, okay? It's not. Let's not pretend that it is. And it's got some like walking in the background, I don't know, this is it. This ain't it, this ain't it. Okay, we've heard way better songs in this game. It's not it. Anyway, this is the level that bites off Wimble Island. We've seen this before, I don't know if we've actually seen it in full, but yeah, this is the one that bites off Wimble Isle. So yeah, I believe this is the first level in the game. So yeah, not much to say this one. This song is mid, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's the full level. I don't think they made it to the end. Oh, actually, wait, hold, hold on. Is that the end over there? No, they made it to the end. Skip the red ring that was right there. But yeah, we didn't get to see the ranking for that one, but that's pretty much it for that. And then what else have we got here? We've got, did a quick DM Q&A with Mimi, which is someone who played the, the game, the demo. The one who recorded the Drop Dash Slope video, which I covered in the previous video. He talks more about the ball physics in Sonic Frontiers, because the momentum debate's been going crazy recently. Hopefully now the argument can truly end. All right, so we take a look at this image. It says, some people still doubt the Drop Dash. Have you tried Drop Dashing up a hill? Was it slower? This uh, response is, Drop Dashing along a straight path or up a hill is super slow and isn't worth it over just boosting. Downhill, it's faster than boosting. So that means that there is rolling momentum because it's slower uphill, faster downhill. That's a good thing. Is drop dash input jump plus double jump hold or jump plus double jump plus double jump? Well, the third one wouldn't be a double jump. But yeah, jump, double jump, then press A again. And I swear, I swear, I was I did the drop dash twice and I played the demo two times. I was only able to pull off the drop dash twice. It's so confusing. You have to jump, then you have to double jump, then you have to press a third jump and then hold on that one to pull off the drop dash. Why the fuck am I trying to do all that just to drop dash? 
They should have put drop dash on a separate button or something. Because like, what if I don't want to double jump? What if I just want to quickly drop dash without double jumping? I need that fine tuning of control. In Mania, there is no double, double jump. So you don't need to worry about shit like that. But here, it makes logical sense to have it be a separate button for drop dash. Maybe they don't have any buttons left available. I don't know. But like, jump. Jump a second time. Then press it a third time and then hold on that one. Yeah. That's why I was barely using the drop. It was so weird. I, that was the thing that I just, I was struggling to pull off. And actually by accident, this is a complete separate tangent. Remember that one move where Sonic like, the camera like pans, he does the cinematic anime style like attack. I actually did pull that off, but I don't know why I pressed to do it. But I did pull that off when I played the demo. But yeah, it looked really fucking sick. Anyway, what was the thing that got you the most excited from playing the demo? says the open zone platforming has some really cool gauntlets that Sega seems allergic to show off. Namely, the floating structure in the box art has a really involved one of the alternative paths and a war running segment around the structure. I want to see more of that. So basically, there's platforming challenges. As I showed you guys when I reviewed the demo in the map, they mentioned like challenges and shit. But we didn't get to see most of them because, again, most of the demo you're stuck in the tutorial. So I guess he's saying that he obviously got further because if you're replaying the demo, you're going to get further in because you get faster. And there's some challenges there that are really cool that involve open zone platforming. But Sega ain't showing them off because maybe they think people don't want to see platforming for some weird reason. So, yes, they are there. So I guess that gives me a bit more hope that platforming will pick up later on in the game because if it does, if platforming picks up, if combat difficulty picks up, then I'll have much nicer things to say about the game than what I already saw. And then on the final point, it says, only judging by what you played, where do you estimate the full game will fall on a one out of 10 scale? And he says, hard to tell a lot. Hard to tell a lot of this game is gonna ride or die on variety, but we could easily be in for an eight out of 10. All right, so that's an interesting point. I'm still leaning in that six to seven out of 10 range. I know when I said six to seven out of 10 in my demo review, People were just Ray Charles to the sixth part. They were blind to that. They just went around saying seven. And I went as far as to say, Prem is negative and hates everything. And he gave it a seven. That means it's a masterpiece. It's perfect. But nonetheless, I said six to seven. Because again, I haven't played the whole game. I can't judge the entire game. I have to leave that range a bit open. If it's more mid, then it leans towards a six. Like when I play the whole thing. But if it surprises me, then it could hit the seven maybe even a 7.5 i personally don't see the 8 i love to be proven wrong if it is the 8 then i'll be like hmm it was the 8 i didn't see it but it was, but you know i wouldn't want to sit right i wouldn't i wouldn't bet money on an 8 for me personally i can't say what the critics or the fans will say but we'll keep going anyway back to the momentum debate we're not really this one's not really too much of the debate this is just the fact that you can curl into a ball in 2d cyberspace levels so if you press down you can curl into a ball. It says here, for people who don't know, it's like a roll into side space but by pressing down while running or boosting without having to jump. So you don't have to do the annoying drop dash bullshit because it's 2D. Simple down will get you to curl. So that will be fun to try out in cyberspace, especially if you can go down and boost while going to downhill like you could do in Sonic Rush. That's pretty lit. And then a pick of Sonic rolling in. No, this is the pose that he does when pressing the boost button without moving. So if you press the boost button, but you're not moving, it does that. So you can't boost without holding the analog, I'm assuming. So that's another interesting thing to look at. And once again, with the drop dash building momentum, we've got another clip. This one's from Volcomia Sonic Central. And you can see here, he's gonna pull off the drop dash and you're gonna get that nice downward momentum. Very beautiful, very beautiful. That is nice. And he goes into the dash panel, beautiful, beautiful. And then, just confirming that yes, the speedometer does in fact increase when you go downhill. So just proving that it is momentum. So that is a good thing. But the debate continues because, sorry, I got a phone call. It says here, I see a lot of folks try to make statements that Sonic Frontiers has slope influence momentum. Here is footage of Sonic running up and down a hill. Note how the hill does not influence the player and he remains at a static speed, both going up and down. And we see the clip here. So he's going up the hill, no speed difference. Goes down the hill, no speed difference. It's the same speed, basically. So he's trying to say because of that, there's no momentum. 
And he responds, this is not to critique Frontiers, but rather to provide evidence of Slope Influence Momentum not being in the game. Hope you have a good night. Just a quick follow-up. It's if it if it appears Sonic is going down fast, this is more likely because of the mesh-based collision with the rocks on the cliff side. In slow motion, it's easy to see him jerk around as he occasionally walks into small divots. His speed remains the same. And then he says, I've seen some clips of the drop dash gone around and I have some working theories for how it functions. The what I'm mainly focusing on is Sonic's on foot movement. Since as early in the trailers, I've seen people claim that slopes have influence on the player and a running state. Capping this off to say once again, this isn't meant to be a critique post. I'm only presenting information I've discovered. I hope you all have a good night. Now, what do I think about this? I think the drop dash and the rolling definitely has momentum in it. But the running physics are obviously different from the rolling physics. It's possible that the rolling physics have perfectly fu functioning momentum and they didn't implement that into the running. Because we saw plenty of footage before we even got the demos and we could see that there was no running momentum. And they weren't even showing the drop dash back then for us to even test momentum on that. So that's why everyone said there was no momentum in the game. Even the rails didn't have momentum and then they released later footage and then the rails had momentum. So it's a bit weird, but whether they improved the running to have proper momentum or not, we don't know. But it's clear that running up and down slopes is not influencing your speed in any way. Boosting up and down slopes, you're going to get the same boosting speed. Only the rolling seems to have an effect. So, yeah. There is some momentum. Remember, there's nuance in the world, okay? It's not either 100% perfect momentum or 0% no momentum. There is a level of momentum. It's not 100%, okay? It's not the most momentum we've seen in the franchise. Again, the gold standard of 3D Sonic Physics is SA1. So we're not expecting this to surpass that because, well, they haven't done it since 1998. So they're not going to do it now. But yeah, I'm not going to say that this will ruin the game or anything like that. Again, I've said this multiple times before because people keep saying bullshit, spreading misinformation about me on social media, saying that Prem thinks the game will be bad. There's no momentum. I made a video. If, if there's only one Sonic Frontiers video you ever watch from me, right? This is the one that you should watch right if i can find it in the moment okay can sonic frontiers be fun or good without momentum this video i'll put a card in the video but so you can click on it but if there's only one frontiers video you watch this is the one you should watch right if you want to skip every other one you don't care about the news or me discussing these fine but this video is the one you should watch if you really want to know how i feel about Sonic games and their gameplay philosophy and what I like about Sonic games and what is going to make me rank a Sonic game higher or lower or rank Frontiers higher or lower. So you can check that video out if you want. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this. What are you feeling about the music in Cyberspace, the classic Green Hill level, the momentum debate, and the opinions of people playing the game? Are you looking forward to playing it? Have you played the demo? And of course, a big shout out to all my channel members. If you want to comment, channel member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button. Be yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure to check out the non-Sonic channel. The link will be in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, Remy out.